In this lesson, we will look at how to solve real-world applications using linear equations. So let's look at an example. Sugar is an ingredient used in the fermenting process of root beer. In one batch, 5 grams of sugar is used. And the amount of sugar decreases with time at a rate of 0 0.29 grams per day. So the first thing we need to do is write a formula that describes the amount of sugar that is left in the fermenting root beer. So let's look at the information that we're given. First, we're told that we start with 5 grams of sugar. And this represents an initial amount. Second, we're told how the amount of sugar changes. It is decreasing at a rate of 0 0.29 grams per day. This represents an average rate of change. We want to write a formula and we'll just go with a linear equation. We're going to use linear because it's decreasing at a constant rate of change. And a linear equation looks like y equals mx plus b. Now the b is the y-intercept, which in our case that's the in same thing as the initial amount. So b equals 5 grams. The slope is the same thing as an average rate of change. So the slope is 0 0.29 grams per day. We need to be careful here because we know that the amount of sugar is decreasing. That means that the slope, our average rate of change, is actually negative. Now we also need to define some better variables instead of just x and y. Let's use s to represent the amount of sugar remaining. And this is in grams and we'll let t equal the time since the start and this will be in days so s is your y s depends on t so we're going to have y or s equals m which we know is negative 0 0.29 times x, which in this case we're using t, plus b, and we said that b was 5 grams. So this is our formula. This is our a formula that describes the amount of sugar that's remaining. So let's use it. How much of the sugar remains after one week? And again, we know our formula. S equals a negative 0 0.29 T plus 5. And we know T is the time, but it's time in days. And so we're given weeks. So we need to convert that over to days. So T equals 7 days. How much remains after 7 days? So this is your value for T. We plug it in there s equals a negative 0 0.29 times 7 plus 5. And if we compute this, we end up computing that s, the amount of sugar remaining, equals 2.97 grams. Next, how long until the sugar is gone? So how much until the sugar is gone? That means that S is equal to 0. So this time we're going to put 0 in for S. So 0 equals negative 0.29 T plus 5. Now this is truly an equation here. We need to solve it for T. 
Again, solving linear equations algebraically is pretty easy. We need to get the t by itself. In this case, since it's negative, I'm going to go ahead and add the t term to both sides. So we end up getting that 0.29t, now positive, is equal to 5. And to get, fi or to get t by itself, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.29. So on the left side, they cancel out. And we're left with t equals 17.24 days.